Let's take a look at this question. It says, given that the function f of x is equal to x minus 4, and the function h of x is equal to 2x plus 3, then the question says, find but in the inverse of the function h of x, then b says, in the inverse, we have to substitute where there is uh, x, we substitute with 5. Okay, that is the inverse of 5. And the C says the composite h of f of x. These are the three parts we want to look at. The question, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from a topic called functions and relations. Well, we have been provided with two functions. We have to copy them the way they are. So we have the function f of x. Okay, I'm going to say some letters here. So the first function is f of x, which is equal to um, x minus 4, that is the function. The other function is h of x, which is equal to 2x plus 3. So these are the two functions, again, okay? we want to look at them uh, a way that will help you understand these functions. Even if they are given in different words, you'll still be able to get them. So the first thing that you need to know, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's not always that you'll be provided with two functions. It's not always. You can be given two functions, three functions, single function, just one. Then questions will follow. So please, I want you to have that in mind and also be um, attentive so that you understand uh, the concepts. The first part here says you should find the inverse of this function h. Why am I saying the inverse? Immediately you, you see negative 1 then it is inverse. Again, okay. the moment you see relative one here, they are saying inverse. So this is inverse. So now, how do you go about it? The function h is this one, not this one. They are saying we have to find the inverse of this function. We have to find the inverse. That is what the question says. Well, when you are finding the inverse of any function, this is what you need to do. You are going to let, you say let in your exam, you say let the function, let this function be equal to any variable, any length, y. In short, we are saying where there is this function, we are going to substitute with what? Y. So, having this in mind, I can now simply say when x plus e equal to y. I have removed the function h of x, I've substituted with what? Y. So, you can write it in this way. If you want to start with y is equal to y is equal to this. Or this function is equal to y, same thing. Now that you have substituted what next, you are going to make x subject of the formula. In this case, it is y which is the subject of the formula. But we want to make this x subject of the formula. Okay? It means that on my left hand side here, I just want to remain with this term that has got x. So I'll say 2x is equal to y. This positive 3, when it crosses the equal sign, becomes negative a. To remain with x, I have to divide by 2 both that. So then x will be equal to y minus 3 over 2. Now that you have made a subject of the formula, you simply say 
therefore, the inverse of x is equal to where there is y substitute with the x. So here, you simply say x minus over 2. Let me give you a final answer. So the inverse of the function h is x minus 3 over 2. Is that clear? And that is the way you should be able to find the inverse of any given function. It's like that. We move on to the next part. Then B says the inverse of I. Well, we have calculated the inverse, which is here. The inverse of X is equal to, I'll copy this, which is X minus 3 over like this. Now they want him to substitute where this x here put five. Please take note of that this is different from this. When they say you find this, is it the same? No. If you are given like this, find h five, the inverse of five, it means you are going to substitute directly. In me, this. You are substituting here. Where the x would find. That is what they mean. But when they say you should, when you see negative 1, it means first of all, you should find the inverse. Then after finding the inverse, substitute. Fine. So I'm going to say, inverse by here can be equal to where there's x put 5. Then here, this is where the x is. We're going to put 5 minus e over 2. Then you say inverse of 5 will be equal to 5 minus 3 will be 2 over 2. And my final answer will be what? 1. So 1 is the correct answer. I want to repeat myself. If you are given it in this way, it means you substitute direct in the function. For example, if they say find f5, it means in this function, where there is x, you put 5. So it will be 5 minus 4, and the answer will be 1. But if they say you find this, this does not mean you substitute 5 in here. No. It means first of all find the inverse like this. After finding the inverse, where there will be x, we put 5. I hope this statement is clear. We move on to C. C. H. O. A. These. Ladies and gentlemen, we want composite functions. Composite. Again, these are composite functions when you see this. Now, what does it mean? We have two functions here. We have function h, which is the h is this one, 2x, not we also have function, which is in this way. Oh. These two functions, the question here says it, it, oh, x. Well, the, this is the first function, the second function. Now, the obligation here is the second function multiple in the first function, not the opposite way. So it is this one that should go in here. These are composite functions. And 
There are lot of ways that you can be given composite functions. Sometimes, they can just say you should find m of n. Or All this, when you're given n squared, it means n of n for x. It means this must go in here. This must go in there. So the application remains the same. Now, what would say the second must go in the first? What does it mean? This function here is the first, then this is the second. It means this frequency must go in that way. Where? Where they see x. Where they x here, you are going to remove the x and substitute with this. So you are going to say it. x n of x will be equal to. I'm substituting this must go in here, okay? So I'll write tool. Where they x here? This is where the function will go. So, x minus 4. I've substituted here plus. Yeah. Then you simplify. Are you seeing that? Second function has gone in the first. And f of x will be equal to. I can now multiply 2 times x into the 2 x minus. 2 times 4 is a square 3. Then x has of this for the equal to 2 gets what you get answer here. Negative 8 plus 3 will give me negative 4 and 5. Negative 5. This is now the final answer. So the composite function and f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. There are times as well when they can ask you to find it or five. That's a five here. It's a four five. It means you're going to do this way. Now, after reaching this point, where is NC here? Put five. Then you find the answer. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.